Mahalo nui, Baron Koholo Kula. One more time, a round of applause. I'd like to invite our faculty and staff to please have a seat. And we now ask that you please turn your attention to the screen and enjoy this presentation. No, na kia kua i kana hele hele. Ia hala ia eke ki ohu ohu e kaua koko. E na kino malui kalani malue ho. Na o la hai ko na mau kahu, o ma ko o ma ko no hai e ulu e ulu tini o te atu ai ulu kane me kanalo.
Ano ay kelo haya ka ko pa kahia pao. May kapi ano kala iha iha e ahi kilo ay kana po ano kala ay kiko mahana. May kamo ko kaya ve ahi kilo ay kio ano o kahele lani ama olo ako e kamo mai aloha. Greetings, everyone. From the rising of the sun in the east to the setting sun of the west, to our island of Hawaii, to the sands of Niihau, and all corners of the world, welcome to Hawaii Ne and to our commencement ceremony. My name is Kaipo Leopoldino, and I'll be your MC for this evening. I am also a proud alumnus, class of 2014. Welcome to our 64th commencement ceremony, celebrating the graduate class of 2022. For security reasons, please keep the aisles clear. You may take photographs from your seat. Professional photos will be available for purchase please see the commencement section of our website for ordering information. We also ask that you remain in place until all graduates have processed to the lawn area following the conclusion of the ceremony. We now bring to the stage our vice president for mission and rector,
Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, let's hear it for the class of 2022. Mahalo Nui. Now at this time, I would like to bring to the stage our Vice President for Mission and Rector, Brother Edward Brink, for the inv invocation. Please stand. God of joy and hope, we thank you for this time to gather tonight. Your spirit of wisdom has empowered the hard work and discipline of the graduates of Chaminade University. Their hunger for learning has been nourished with knowledge, discovery, creativity, and determination. As they prepare to walk across this stage to receive their diplomas, let them walk in prayerful gratitude for the many blessings that have led to this moment. May they walk in hope for what is yet to come. In gratitude, we pray for their families and the many who have been sacrificed and worked to see them to this hopeful moment. In gratitude, we pray for the professors, staff members, and administrators who have challenged, cared, and crafted them along this academic journey. In gratitude, we pray for their fellow students who have taught them about friendship, collaboration, and sharing. God, even as they have faced challenges and accomplished much, Help them to understand that now their lives move into a new chapter where there will be more challenges to face and more will be demanded of them in order to accomplish good things. May your grace cover their anxieties and fears so that they may stay encouraged about the future. Give them patience and hope to energize their search for work that is just and makes proper use of their gifts. Give them courage to face the challenges of participating in a society where they might live in peace, be of service to others, and express gratitude. May your spirit guide them as they unfold the next chapters of their lives. Help them to enliven hope in the world and bring good things to your kingdom. And may this celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we all find in knowing and loving you. Amen. Please remain standing for the singing of our national and state anthems as performed by Chaminade alumna and singer Chardonnay Pau. Stripes and bright stars 
Please be seated. Welcome to Chaminade University of Honolulu's 2022 commencement. <clears throat> I am Lynn Babington and have the privilege of being the president of this amazing institution. Graduates, every commencement is a special day. We come together as a community today to celebrate your accomplishments your dedication, and your growth. For all of you, our graduates, today is particularly momentous as finally you have the opportunity to mark the end of your academic studies and celebrate your accomplishments. We are so proud of you. During the past two plus years, we have all lived with uncertainty and have managed many challenges in responding to and living within this time of the COVID-19 pandemic. You have had to pivot to online learning, missed seeing your friends, your faculty and your staff, and were never able to properly celebrate all of your accomplishments as a community. You've learned the power of sacrifice. You've made necessary ones to keep you and your family safe. You are a resilient group with the tenacity and grace you've shown in responding to these ever many changing challenges gives us all great hope for the future. You are our future leaders and we are confident in your ability to succeed. Commencements are time to join as a community to celebrate the work of our faculty and our staff who have supported you throughout your years of study with us. And we celebrate new beginnings. You are leaving Shamanad University to go out and engage in the world as professionals, as neighbors, and as citizens. Now I've had the opportunity to think about the history of Shamanad University, 64 graduating classes thus far, and to reflect on the many changes that this campus has seen over the years. The world has changed so much since Chaminade was founded in 1955. We are truly a global community now. Thanks to the technology that's advanced so quickly, the world is right at your fingertips. All of the world's challenges are truly global challenges that require global solutions and cross-cultural cooperation, cooperation and world, we need world leaders now who are comfortable working in this environment, working across cultures and reaching across disciplines. Class of 2022, the world has changed. You will determine how we rebuild and will be our leaders in this effort. And I ask that you make your community your priority. And we believe in the process of education it's an essential transformative interaction between students and teachers and students and mentors that prepares us all for the work that is before us. I would suggest to you that you are making a leap of faith as persons as it, and as a university community. We are always stepping into the unknown with hope and with courage. We make this leap in the belief that there is work to be done and there is a greater pattern unfolding in the world, and we all have a role to play in the unfolding of that greater pattern, and that is the will of God. The Catholic Marianist education you've experienced has prepared you well for these challenges. You have received an excellent integrative education, holistic by design, with a strong focus on the importance of serving others for the common good. The Shamanad Ohana has helped all of you, not only in your academic education, but in your exploration of faith. Now, one of the distinguishing features of a Marianist education is the focus on adaptation and change, skills critically important in today's challenging world. You have certainly become more comfortable with navigating the unknown. The ability to work with ambiguity means you will be able to face uncertainties, adapt to change, and be flexible in the mysteries that life unfolds. 
It is an exciting world, an ever-evolving global society that is creating whole new vistas of opportunity. And Chaminade graduates, now as ever, you will find your place in it. My message is stay close to home. Maybe not physically, but in every other way possible, remember your Chaminade education and the values you have learned. Pursue every ambition, go as far as you can possibly dream, and be the first generation to embrace a new responsibility, a responsibility to rebuild your community with compassion and justice. Education prepares us to put our shoulders to the wheel and to embrace our obligation to make the world a better place for everyone. And I say to you who are receiving your degrees today, this is what your time here at Chaminade University has been all about. Now go out into the world and make a difference. Congratulations and God bless you all. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Keke Pua-Dansel, Chair of the Chaminade University Board of Regents, who will bring you greetings. Aloha. On behalf of the Board of Regents of the Chaminade University of Honolulu, I bring you greetings and congratulations. We are very proud of you, our graduates, for your hard work and perseverance in completing your degrees, particularly during these challenging times. We wish you the very best of luck as you pursue the next chapter of your lives. Ho'omai ka'i aloha. We now introduce and congratulate this evening's selected undergraduate student speaker, Albert Respicio graduating with a Bachelor of Arts in Communications. Albert. Thanks. Sorry, I thought that thing would be on me. Oh, hey, look, there's me. <laughs> oh, boy. Do you ever wonder why we're here? It's a question with many answers for sure, but at least for today, the answer is quite simple. We're graduating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After four or five or more years of long nights, early mornings, hours of homework, and then work, and then squeezing out an internship on top of trying to balance our social lives. <laughs> and let's not forget the last two years have been under a multitude of historical events that have all affected us in one way or another. Yeah, Loki, we kind of been through it, huh? And the last two years have really felt like a lifetime, but yet, we're all here. We may not be the same people we were when we first stepped foot on campus, but we're smarter and wiser now. We've had our own hills and stairs to climb, and some of those some of those were just for parking. <laughs> and while I can't speak to every individual memory or moment that all 500 or so of us here have today, I can only hope to offer some semblance of relatability, humor, and honesty within the next five or so minutes. I hope anyway. My degree's in common. I can see them all right there. Hi, guys. And the rest of my cohort, too. I'll make you proud. I don't know where you guys are, but yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my hat keeps going all over the place. So, <laughs> it popped up, huh? Ah, well, <laughs> so, just over three years ago, I decided to transfer to Chaminade, and while a story for another day, the long short involving a wrecked Camaro and two years of constant head spinning and confusion, I woke up one day and said, I needed a change. Chaminade was that change. One of my first memories here was saying hi and meeting a bunch of people within the first week. And granted, I knew some people then, and they introduced me to more people. And soon, I had an early morning crew that would park up on Third Road and sometimes 
sometimes we'd watch the sun peek over our campus hill. However, people come and go. People graduate, transfer out, and leave. And now, now it's our turn. We've left our mark and did all that we could here. We've grown as people, matured in more ways than one, but as my final moments just so happen to be on this stage, I can't help but feel the same warmth that many of those highs, hellos, what's up, head nods, and waves meant to me when I barely knew anyone. The sudden change of friendly faces waving hi and goodbye soon became digital boxes on a phone, computer, or tablet. As a community, we came together and braved through the pandemic. But think back to when all of our lives changed to spring 2020 and finding out that we would be transitioning to online learning and not by choice. <laughs> to put it simply, we are rather resilient, all of us here. From our students, wait, graduates, to our professors, faculty, and staff, we, as a community, came together and braved through the, through the pandemic, and now we're here. As a community, we made it through the uncertainty in the world, despite many of us finally finding our footing, me. <laughs> <sighs> only to have it ripped right out from under us. And as a comm major, I know that there are many different ways of responding to messages and they're important to being an effective communicator. Because now, at graduation, our lives are changing once again. We are at the end of one journey and another begins, one that we've picked for ourselves. It won't always be pretty, we might struggle, and we'll fall, and we'll chalk it up to, it is what it is, though. <laughs> but we are resilient, and we've overcome everything that life has thrown at us. After all, we made it this far, and our lives are only just beginning. As we leave this familiar place, let's take the good, the bad, and everything in between, our struggles and our triumphs that have shaped us into the people that we've become in this moment. But we didn't do this alone. Mom, Dad, thank you for everything. To all of our parents, friends, and teachers that believed in us when we didn't, when we struggled to think that we could, when that voice in our head overwhelmed us with, you can't do it. You aren't good enough for that. Someone told us, that we were more than just enough. Yet, we put pen to paper and we turned in our assignments. We typed our lives away for a hot minute. Finals, two days ago, and yet, we're here. <laughs> Shamanad inspired us not only to believe in ourselves, but in each other just like the morning sun that peaked over our campus hill. Congratulations to the class of 2022. We did it. <laughs> Thank you, Albert. We now bring to the stage this evening's selected graduate student speaker, Kiana Dizon graduating with a Master of Science in Counseling Psychology. Kiana. Thank you, Kaipo. Whew. Here we are. When I think about my time here at Chaminade University of Honolulu, there is one word that comes to mind opportunity. You see, for me and my story, coming in as a master's degree seeking student, I had only been at this institution for two years. Prior to that, I considered myself to be a straight B student. <laughs> Some of the highest achievements one can earn in higher education are the Latin honors cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. 
But in 2018, as an undergraduate student, I earned the honor of a lot of dotty because I like to party. <laughs> At the time, I entered the workforce with optimism and a desire to change the world. I had a purpose and calling on my life, but had no idea how it would be fulfilled. It wasn't until I decided to apply to Shamanad's Master's in Counseling Psychology program that the first opportunity presented itself. Within the program, I learned what it takes to be a competent and confident therapist and discovered a therapeutic approach called narrative therapy that I deeply resonate with. The premise of it is this. Our sense of reality is organized and maintained through the stories by which we circulate knowledge about ourselves and the world that we inhabit. It's this idea that not only do we naturally formulate stories to create a sense of reality, but that we also have the power to change those stories if we so choose. In 2018, my idea of reality and the future that lay before me was vague and unfulfilling. But Shamanad gave me the opportunity to change my story. It was then that I achieved my first ever 4.0 GPA. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I never thought that I could make my dreams a reality until I pursued a passion at an institution that empowered me to do so. As I reflect on my journey, I'm filled with gratitude because it was here that I not only changed my life from one of uncertainty to a path of fulfillment. On behalf of my fellow graduates, I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to the families, parents, partners, spouses, and friends who have supported us on this journey. Thank you for sacrificing your time and energy to watch the kids while we were in class or studying, for continuing to shower us with encouragement and prayer when we felt discouraged and overwhelmed, in a pandemic, no less. We would not be standing here today without your sacrifice as well. So at this time, I would like to ask you to join me in giving a round of applause to all our families. Thank you. Finally, to my fellow graduates, here's a little encouragement to you about character and identity. Let me start off by saying you are not what you do. Yes, we all worked hard for our degrees, and what we have done today is an accomplishment that we should cherish because no one can take it away from us. However, it is not these degrees that make you who you are. Rather, it demonstrates the character that you possess. It is your resilience that got you through those sleepless nights, your perseverance that gave you the endurance to sacrifice your time, your money, and your energy for this degree, and your fervor that motivated you to keep pushing forward. Semester after semester, we reached moments of questioning whether we could keep going, whether it would all be worth it. And I'm here to tell you that today is proof that it is. Second Timothy 1.7 says that God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and of self-discipline. So I hope that every time you look at your diploma, as it's displayed in your corner office someday, you see it not as a representation of your identity, but an affirmation to what you already possess. As we leave this place today, may we remember the opportunities that we were given, that it is because of this place that we can now extend opportunities to others. Today, we allow the generations after us to change their stories. Today, we have all done so bravely. So congratulations to the graduating class of 2022, and thank you. Thank you, Kiana. 
It is now my pleasure to introduce our 2022 commencement speaker, Ms. Suzanne Puanaini Varaslum, president of East West Center. Ms. Varaslum took office as the president of the East West Center in January of this year. She is the first woman, Native American, and Hawaii resident to be chosen for this role. As a retired major colonel, with 34 years of service, Ms. Varas Loom has held key roles addressing pri uh, priority national security challenges in the region. After retirement, she formed a consulting group to provide consulting and advising on regional issues. As a community leader, she serves on a variety of nonprofit boards, including the American Red Cross Pacific Island region. She has also served as a strategic advisor to the Hawaii Chamber of Commerce Military Affairs Council. Farah Sloom earned her Bachelor of Arts degree in journalism in 1989 and her Master's of Education and Teaching in 1996 from the University of Hawaii at Manoa. As a graduate of the U.S. Army War College, she earned a Master's of Strategic Studies degree in 2011, and in 2019, she became a National Security Fellow of the Maxwell School of Citizenship and Public Affairs at Syracuse University. She is also an alumna of the Daniel K. Inouye Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies. Ms. Varas Loom. Mahalo Nui, President Babington, and aloha mai kako, everyone. I gotta tell you, this is a beautiful day, and you all look incredible sitting here in your mighty blue, and I wish you could see the faces of your family and friends in the back, because it makes it an even more beautiful day. They are all beaming in pride. I am so honored to be here with all of you today, and Madame President Dr. Lynn Babington, and also um, Provost Dr. Lance uh, Askelton and our Board of Regents and our Chair, as well as the faculty here on the stage and in the audience there, all of our distinguished guests, Ohana, friends and family, our honorary degree recipients, Ms. Kitty sullivan Wo, and Mr. Vaughn Vasconcelos, and of course, the 2022 graduate of Chaminade University, my heartfelt aloha. Woo! So, you know, as we've all come together from far and wide, and I know many of you have traveled here to celebrate this momentous day, it's with profound respect that I acknowledge this place, Hawaii, as an indigenous space whose original people are today identified as Native Hawaiian. Let us also acknowledge the five Marinists in 1955 who guided the establishment of a Catholic institution of higher education in Hawaii, Shamanad University of Honolulu, of which you are all proud graduates today. Mahalo Nui also, as was mentioned by our student speakers today, the passionate parents and faithful families who stood by these graduates right here through thick and thin over the years. And you stand with them today, crossing continents, the Pacific, and braving this Waikiki traffic to witness this special graduation day. You are a historic class, as it was said. You are pandemic survivors, yes, with grit and fortitude. And you survived, and you've reached this day intact. And as was said by Albert and Kiana, yes, you've spent many months in front of a computer monitor, hidden behind masks, and you're really excited to see what your friends really look like today, and often separated from your loved ones who are sitting in the audience. Some of you from abroad were unable to get back home for long extended times due to this travel restrictions. And critics sometimes questioned the instruction and training during COVID-19. You hear that a discussion all the time. However, just as was mentioned by our president, I wonder if people acknowledge the resiliency and determination to not only survive a pandemic, but thrive and graduate on time. 
Graduates, you dis demonstrated your resiliency and determination in the face of these pandemic trials. And these are the same strengths, just as your president said, that are required to solve the complex challenges of tomorrow. You received an excellent education from dedicated and brave instructors who are sitting out here and on stage, who ably pivoted to make significant technological changes. Had this happened in the 1980s when I was in school, we have had to have to set up our strings and our cups and our coconut wireless because we didn't have access to the kind of technology you have now. Yes, today we honor you as our future leaders with the countless hours of homework, as Admiral, um, Albert said, balancing life, work, family. You're graduating with this degree from Shamanad University. What an accomplishment. Ho'omai ka'i, like your chairman said. But this marks an end of one phase of your life. But it's also the first step when you step off this stage on a new and amazing journey. You know, I remember sitting where you are, okay, not exactly here, but it was the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and thinking about my uncertain future. But you know, I wanna tell you that change and transitions are a continuous part of life. And even at my age, transitions continued. You know, I retired last year after 34 years in the military and started a consulting business. And trust me, I felt the uncertainty. Again, at the beginning of this year, after accepting a new position at the East-West Center as the president, there was also uncertainty. So with that uncertainty and my age, I decided perhaps I should provide and share a bit of advice on how I deal with uncertainty. And I know I'm keenly aware that I'm between you and stepping on here and getting your diploma, so I'll try to be brief and be brilliant and be gone. You know, I deal with uncertainty through faith faith in God, and friendship. I seek out friends and mentors who steer me, who steer me straight and remind me that I got this, and you heard that from our student speakers. I remember all the times that I've done it before, and you can do it again with this spirit of perpetual optimism, because there's enough negativity in this world. I remember that I'm here for a reason and a purpose, Maybe not always immediately obvious, but I have faith, family, and friends to carry me through, and you've heard that over and over on the themes of, this, of the talks just before me. You know, it's easy for me to stand up here at my age and pontificate when I know you're graduating into a time unlike ever before. You know, my generation had to deal with cold wars, hot wars, and a hole in the ozone layer. Your generation faces an ever-accelerating era of artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and the cyber metaverse. The cell phones in your pockets, and I know some of you've got it right there, and in your purses, or in your, right under your, your um, robes. You know, they contain thousands of times more computing power than the state-of-the-art supercomputers of the 1980s, which weighed more than 10,000 pounds and cost around $15 million how times have changed. Navigating this new era of artificial intelligence will require a high level of emotional intelligence. I say that again, it will require a high level of emotional intelligence. You know, one of our East-West Center researchers writes about the idea of humane artificial intelligence. Humans must evolve our own thinking if we hope to successfully use our immense and revolutionary intelligent technologies to protect and improve our world rather than amplifying humanity's most selfish, destructive tendencies. To keep us from this unpleasant fate, we must plot a course by standing on the shoulders of giants, looking to the past for guidance and future for direction, in the same way our ancestors looked to the source. In Hawaiian, we say nana ike kumu. That source can be found within indigenous knowledge. I recently attended some conferences in Guam and Palau where we discussed the topic of island sustainability and our ocean. A matter, a literal matter of life and death for many island societies. At these conferences, a number of speakers emphasized the critical importance of incorporating traditional knowledge into modern solutions, emphasizing indigenous understandings and that there is a season for everything 
And in Ecclesiastes 3, 1 to 2, it states, There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the sun. A time to be born, a time to die, a time to plant, and a time to uproot. And if I were to extend that to a modern thinking, a time and going to the past, a time to follow moon cycles and constellations, a time to travel with prevailing trade winds, waves and whales, a time to fish and a time to rest. The wisdom of our ancestors, unencumbered by the demands of the cell phone, understood the importance of human relationships. To expand our human connection and emotional intelligence, we must harness and apply these observations, empathy, emotional awareness, to new generational technical challenges. And as we seek wisdom from our past, we also wonder, what will the future bring? Is it your turn to step forward to shape the future? Will you do something that matters? How will you impact the lives of others? How will you balance the competing challenges that life brings? Let me share with you, very briefly, I promise, some important lessons, because it's always great to have someone up here to tell you about lessons in life, right? Lessons I learned in the military and then at the East-West Center from a perspective of a woman, a mother, a daughter of Hawaii, a native Hawaiian, and a human being. First and foremost, wherever you go, go build ohana, a family. Ohana means that no one is left behind and it's not something that Disney took from us, but it's really true. We all should have a heart for one another. Ohana is best realized when we show aloha for one another by reflecting a spirit of genuine compassion. When we live aloha, we communicate by building understanding and hold high standards of conduct for ourselves and others with grace and kindness. However, you know, we should never confuse aloha with weakness because kindness is always a strength. Second is to live up to your kuleana, your responsibilities. As a colleague, a friend, a family member, a citizen, a human being, the essence of kuleana really is malama, to preserve and protect. We must protect each other and preserve our land and our sea, our resources, our heritage, our future. We need to approach our kuleana with a spirit of laulima and work together cooperatively. Finally, I urge you to embrace who you are and don't let others define who you are for you. Celebrate your uniqueness. You know, my background, not unlike many of you here, is of mixed cultural identity. I was born and raised in Wahewa, Hawaii with a dad from Maui of Hawaiian, Portuguese, Tahitian, English, Chinese descent and a Japanese mother from Japan. You know, growing up, I watched my dad work long and hard hours to earn enough money to put food on the table, which I'm sure is not unlike many of you. He also caught fish and killed pig and smoked the pig to supplement in between the pay season, and we knew when those seasons were. And in my youth, I used to think back, and I struggled in school because I spoke pidgin English exclusively. Now I joke that I learned standard English by watching Brady Bunch, Sesame Street, and Electric Company. And those of you who are young don't know, but those older ones out there, you know. <laughs> when I was 10, my parents divorced and I grew up in a broken home and with all the challenges that come with it. So people who know me, knew me then would never have imagined that I would one day be standing here as your commencement speaker, a retired two-star general from the Army and the East-West Center president. And also in this role, being able to speak standard English, engaging with high-level leaders throughout Asia, the Pacific, and the United States to work together to secure a stable and prosperous region that spans half of the globe. You know, fortunately, I spent many of my summers with my grandparents on Maui. My grandmother, Le Kiyokona, was a head cook at Kahului Elementary, and my grandfather, Adelino Varis, was a Paia Plantation bulldozer driver. They knew everything about hard work and commitment. I watched and I learned, just like you. We have so much to learn from our kupuna. It kindled a drive in me that said, I refuse to be defined by my life circumstances, just like you. I'm sure, though, it was more like, if can, can, if cannot, then try again. 
These experiences also reminded me that, that you can't stop because it gets hard, and you've clearly shown that today. You've beat the odds, you've overcome obstacles, and I'm so excited to see what lies ahead for you. I'd like to leave you today with words that were the model, motto of Queen Kapiolani, the namesake of this beautiful park where we are gathered today. Kulia Ikanu'u, strive for the summit. Like a fingerprint, remember you are special and unique. Remember to love your family and take care of your friends and be a light wherever you go, learn, listen, teach, and encourage. And when you walk up this stage and walk out of here with all of your family and friends with their lay and their love for you, remember those who walked with you. Remember all those who helped you get here today. And remember what it means to be a servant leader, especially during the tough times, and you know it well. Today, no doubt, you will stand a little taller with your shoulders back. You are a proud Shamanad University graduate. Ho'omai congratulations. What an honor it is to be here with tomorrow's leaders. You are our leaders of Hawaii, our region and the world. You, yes you. Thank you for letting me be a part of your special day. I am so inspired. God bless you and your ohana, mahalo piha, and aloha. Class of 2022. Thank you so much, Susie, for your very inspirational words. We have a wonderful opportunity tonight to award honorary degrees. And I thought I'd tell you all a little bit about what an honorary degree means. Honorary degrees are academic awards granted by universities to individuals who have, who have achieved distinction. They've made extraordinary contributions to their professional fields, and they've had a meaningful impact in their communities and in higher education. This evening, Chaminade University will award two very extraordinary people a doctorate in humane letters. I'd like to now introduce Dr. Roy Panzarella, who will introduce our first honorary degree recipient. I have the pleasure of presenting Vaughn Garner Akimeka Vasconcelos. Vaughn Vasconcelos was born in Honolulu and raised in Ho'ulehua, Molokai, and Papa Kolea, Oahu. He attended Kamehameha Schools and the United States Military Academy at West Point, where he earned a Bachelor of Science in Engineering. Vaughn later went on to earn a Master of Science in Personnel Management from Troy University and an Executive MBA from Northeastern University. Vaughn founded Akimeka LLC in January of 97 and served as its president and chief executive officer. He also co-founded the Alakaina Foundation in 2012, a not-for-profit native Hawaiian organization that focused on building leadership programs for native Hawaiian youth in rural areas and Hawaiian homestead communities. The foundation also supported programs in science, technology, arts, engineering, and mathematics across the United States where their offices were located. Vaughn served on the Maui Economic Development Board, Malama Nakeki Foundation, the Pacific American Foundation, and the Hawaii Chamber of Commerce. In 2000, Mr. Vasconcelos was selected as Entrepreneur of the Year by the Small Business Administration for the state of Hawaii. And in 2009, he was named SBA's Small Business Person of the Year for Hawaii. Vaughn committed his time and expertise to Chaminade University. He served as chair for the Board of Regents from 2014 to 2018 and is currently a member of the Board of Governors. Vaughn continues to serve on the Advisory Council for the Hogan Entrepreneurs Program and was honored in 2019 with its Lifetime Achievement Award. Vaughn and the Alakaina Foundation supported student education through the creation of two major scholarships at Chaminade for student athletes and native Hawaiian scholars. 
He and his wife Susie recently funded an endowed leadership institute within the Hogan program. He retired in December of 2021. Vaughn Vasconcelos, his long life, uh, lifelong commitment to improving the lives of our students and of our community is being recognized today. We now bring to the stage Dr. Helen Turner to introduce our second honorary degree recipient. Thank you, Kuiper. Good evening, everyone. I am delighted today to introduce a remarkable woman, a woman leader, a community advocate, and a friend who we honor today. Kitty Sullivan Wo was born in Hong Kong and raised in Honolulu, Hawaii where she graduated from Punahou School and earned a BS in Business Administration from the University of the Pacific in Stockton, California. She later joined the family business as owner and director of the Sullivan family of companies, which includes Foodland Supermarket, Food Pantry, and many other enterprises. Kitty has been a community volunteer and philanthropist in many community organizations she chaired the Punahou School Board of Trustees, the St. Francis Healthcare System Board, and she's currently the chair of the board of the Honolulu Museum of Art. Kitty was honored in 2009 by the Girl Scouts of Hawaii, rightly as a woman of distinction and accomplishment, and she was named an outstanding volunteer by the Association of Fundraising Professionals Aloha Chapter in 2013. For her long-standing contributions to Chaminade and to Punahou, and in 2018, Kitty also received the St. Francis of Assisi Spirit Award. So Kitty has served Chaminade. She has honored us by being on the Board of Governors, and in 2005, she was named as Chair of the Board of Regents. She's committed her time, her expertise, her talent to supporting Chaminade University and being our advocate, being your advocate in this community. During her time as a governor and as regent, she led a major fundraising raising campaign, dedicated the Sullivan Family Library, recruited new regents, not sure she gave them much choice, served on the presidential search committee and chaired the inauguration committee for President Lynn Babington. Kitty continues to support Chaminade students' education. She's a passionate voice in Hawaii for the transformative power of education that we heard so much about from our speakers today and the importance of preparation for a life of service and of success. Her outstanding impact on students' lives, their families and our community are being recognized today. Please stand up. In my own name 
and that of Chaminade University of Honolulu and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and the State of Hawaii, I confer upon Vaughn G. A. Vasconcellos and Kathleen Sullivan Woe the degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations. Mahalo nui. And now we bring to the podium Provost Dr. Lance Askeldson. Aloha graduates. As Chaminade University's Chief Academic Officer, it is my sincere honor to congratulate you on your profound achievements today. Today's commencement ceremony is a recognition of both your success in completing your college degree and an important inflection point in your life and the future possibilities now available to you. Now is the time to reflect upon not only how far you have come, but why you began this journey in the first place. Your degree means more opportunity and independence, more career and professional advancement possibilities, greater financial autonomy and self-determination, and the potential for greater responsibility and leadership in your professional and civic lives. Now is the time to remember that you sought out, the, sought out this opportunity to challenge yourself to grow as a human being, and to aspire to greater challenges and accomplishments in your future. You have faced and overcome adversity, and through our distinctive community here at Chaminade, our ohana bound by our Marinus mission and identity, you have also recognized the responsibility that you have to your peers and fellow citizens. That is what we celebrate above all here today. We celebrate your courage and your conviction to embrace your humanity and to commit to serving more than just yourselves. We celebrate your future growth and contributions to making our world a better place, one person, one interaction at a time. As you walk across the stage to receive your diploma today, you mark the end of your journey with us, yet embark upon a lifetime of learning and growth hereafter. That is the legacy that we give to you today, and one that we celebrate in honor of your commencement to graduation. Congratulations, graduates of 2022. You make us proud. Let us now proceed to the awarding of degrees. Yeah. Will the candidates for associate degrees please stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for bachelor's degrees please stand and remain standing? Will the candidates for master's degrees please stand and remain standing? And will the candidates for doctoral degrees please stand and remain standing? Each graduate is special. To ensure that every graduate's name can be easily heard and that every family has the opportunity to hear their student's name called, please complete your applause before the next name is announced. There will be time after all names are called for everyone as a group to make a collective joyful noise. We also ask that you remain in place until the entire academic procession is complete.
Good evening. I'm Dr. William Ray, Dean of the School of Business and Communication. Will the associate's degree and bachelor's degree candidates in our school please come forward? Degree programs within this school include accounting, business administration, communication, and management. President Babington, on behalf of our great faculty, I present to you our school's candidates for the associate's and bachelor's degrees. All other candidates, you may be seated at this time. Noe John Bison Gombok. Jonathan Enos, summa cum laude. David Lamey, summa, Lamey, summa cum laude. Cheyenne Jordan Kahelani Ardona. Jordan Ann Zader. Colin Romer, magna cum laude. Tatsushi Hirata, graduating with distinction. Oliver Daniel Carson, cum laude. Isaac Amaro Arthari, cum laude. Morning Star Kioni Takapu Kevin Michael Kramer Alexa Ali Shea Shah Samuel Leonard Hesh, magna cum laude. Alian Nicole Devaro Alfaro. Ilani Emiko and Maria Elena Kamark. Mm -hmm. 
Stephen Alam with distinction. Anisha Miji Robin Lee. Ian Cristobal Brastillo Adrihilo. Christopher G. Loomis, graduating magna cum laude. Tyrone Rixey. Brittany Ganzelli. Courtney Kabuting Lato. Lokelani Paulette Paya. Paris Chanel Smith Cum Laude. Teresa A. Neo Viela Cum Laude. Tony C. Sampo. Albert Benjamin Respicio, cum laude. Kara Ashley Gutierrez. Emma Kalealoha Sharil, Cum Laude, Hina Nohea Santos, Gavin Micah Bidoya. Mary Mangabat Sipida, Cum Laude. Miki Angel Takayama. Kelsey Chimi Inoy. Sell, Dean of the School of Education and Behavioral Sciences. <laughs> will, the, will the associate's degree and bachelor's degree candidates in our school please come forward? Degree programs within this school include criminology and criminal justice, psychology, Early Childhood Education, Elementary Education, Elementary Education for Oceania, Special Education, and Secondary Education. President Babington, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you our school's candidates
for the associates and bachelor's degrees. Demetrius Dominguez, cum laude. Esteban Gonzalez III. Marianne Melilani Malabai. Marlene Moses Pergana. Quincy S. Alonza. Markira Peaks, cum laude. Nasaila Kiani Marcel Lopez Magna Cum Laude Shana Kehau O Kakahiaka Nishimoto with distinction outstanding graduate Rosen Ariola Jason Thomas Nowak Alexander N. Perez Nigel Olamba Hina Concepcion Sablan Flores Jennifer Louise Tomokane Villagomez, magna cum laude, outstanding graduate. Haley Lea Motsumora. Laurel Joy Boranda Lizama, cum laude. Janella Boy Corey Kuule Makamai Yoshi Johansson graduating with distinction Kerrigan Heck Michaela Helena Dean Ariana Jotoshe Blow Alexander Terrence Dugan
Tatiana Janetta Tolefor. Michelin Elizabeth Eif, Cum Laude. Kelia Evans. Sarah Coyle, graduating with distinction. Jamaya Iana Bailey Rianne Catherine Sanchez Chelsea Ishikawa Jacqueline Rachel Schaefer. Kayla Yumiko Takazono. Kayla Yumiko Takazono. Magna Cum Laude, outstanding graduate. Lisa Beams. Caitlin Elizabeth Thibodeau. Jaylin Elizabeth Abanto, cum laude. Hii aloha a kahikili palakiko. David A. Smith, summa cum laude. Crystal Nicole Gonzalez, magna cum laude. Malia McClung, magna cum laude. Christy Michelle Cruz, cum laude. Jennifer C. Valdez. Jillian Faith L. Romero. Alison Torado, magna cum laude. Amber Brooke Sablan, cum laude. Amber Salamasina, Talatalanga Irome, magna cum laude. Lono W. Kayaulu. Brandon A. Yasue Cum Laude. Marcus Takahiro Kosins, Magna Cum Laude. Garrick Antonio Gargovich.
Taylor D. Ratliff, Magna Cum Laude. Sierra Madison Hensel, Magna Cum Laude. Sydney Ann Shibuya. Alia Mercado. Jessica Kelly Biliana Domingo. Salamasina Lynn Robertson, cum laude. Adora Carmen Barquinas Urgiza. Josephine Oriana Iones, Jose. Susan Rahoma Jerry Lau Jerry Gale Manassas Aban Polk Amber Sao Lung Kimie Ruiz Cody Lee Rainey Jacqueline Page Ku Kahelani Fox Madison Kahiva Hiva Charles Christy D. Mitsui Summa Cum Laude Rihanna Catherine Kamakaniu Ilani Farm Hello, I'm Dr. Cheryl Edelson, Dean of the School of Humanities, Arts, and Design. Will the associates and bachelor's degree candidates in our school please come forward? Degree programs within this school include English, environmental and interior design, historical and political studies, interdisciplinary studies, international studies, liberal arts, and religious studies. President Babington, on behalf of the amazing faculty, I present to you our school's candidates for the associates and bachelor's degrees. Kevin Akira Nakagawa. John M. Jackson, graduating with distinction. Rachel Kramer Dewold.
Michael Anthony Delicata. Tiffany Dominique Emory Stanifer. Mahalani Ruth Stephen. Trinity Kona Colina Carblum. Magna Cum Laude, graduating with outstanding distinction. Marie Chris Dominiquez. Dominguez. Ruth Cowboy Simmons. Rohan Kapadia. Gabriel, Gabriel Makana'a Keakua Pondelae, outstanding graduate. Dorina Faith Rincon. Kailani Torres. Salina Marie Rock. Thank you. Thank you. Aloha. I am Dr. Gail Grabowski, Dean of the School of Natural Sciences and Mathematics. Will the candidates for the bachelor degrees in our school please come forward? Degree programs within this school include biology, biochemistry, chemistry, computer science, data science, analytics and visualization, environmental science, environmental studies, forensic sciences, and natural sciences. President, President Babington, on behalf of the outstanding faculty of our school, I present to you your school's candidates for the bachelor's degree. Kirsten Kamakana Nuoli Maikalani Vanek, Summa Cum Laude. Kayan Faith Kahelani Maipoina Ole Lopez Gabilao, Cum Laude. Tun Li Yang. Christine Acosta. Taylor Soraya Lena Ala T. Lena Sagusio. Magna Cum Laude.
Catherine Eliza Ochavilo Perez. The Shay Kanani Pa Madeline Mary Hunroth with distinction. Edward James Kaipo O Kowana Ao Adachi. Melissa P. De La Cruz. Christian C. Crisologo. Genoa Talia Faletoy. Taylor Ishisaka, cum laude. Aloha Le Manipon Garo. Donna Chakita Cottrell. Tiffany Susan Sophia Massina Rivera Cum Laude Celine Uilani Missiona Perez Isabel Ann Krupa Summa Cum Laude Outstanding Graduate Kathleen Joyce Rotetes Andrion, cum laude. Tyler Cahiel Bright. Kimberly Reiko Takata. Jerry Moke Adams Jr. with distinction. Christian Laakea Gum, Magna Cum Laude. Zachary Walter Pomai Kai Kui Kava Baptiste, Magna Cum Laude. Deshane La Kaimakana Suneko Alapai Isra Magna Cum Laude Zoe Kaneakua Summa Cum Laude Javen Santos Francis Tagalog, Magna Cum Laude. Ray San Nicholas. Remy Lonzaga, Magna Cum Laude. Kamale Davis Magna Cum Laude Liam Patrick Sullivan Noah Michael Caddy
Jared Kaimiloa Baker. Elizabeth K. Heffernan. Joseph Francis Duroche. Alina Collar. Summa Cum Laude. Sky Kaukeha Akiko Haraga, Summa Cum Laude Outstanding Graduate. Kobe Kaimalino Gunderson. Darian Haulani Lin Balai, Cum Laude Outstanding Graduate. Melia Suki, cum laude. Noah Makoa Puuvai Tamayo Lorenzo, cum laude. Ria Alexandria Jose, cum laude, outstanding graduate. Jacqueline Kaike na Hiva Hiva o Keakua Poki. Rebecca Paul. Kaylee Anuhea o Kamaunalani Brown. Hesia Kaui Makamai e Malamaia na Keakua Milo Kaheku Randall Dwayne Kiroga Cum Laude Clarissa Camara Cum Laude Alyssa May Valdez Saito, cum laude. Malia Kalai Hauoli Kaaki Maka. Tiare Kahalevai. Alexis Kekamavahine Punahele Chang Takayama Asia Holt Dana Miyoko Nishimura Jenna McLean Cum Laude Sharon Cassandra Kane Magna Cum Laude Outstanding Graduate Aloha. 
I'm Dr. Roberta Haley, Dean of the School of Nursing and Health Professions. Will the bachelor's degree candidates in the School of Nursing please come forward? Our school offers the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree program. President Babington, on behalf of the nursing faculty, I present to you our school's candidates for the bachelor's degree. Rebecca Koi Kaleleiki. <laughs> Anuhea Laneas Kumlade. Kiana Kamikawa Tyler Malie Insilio Cum Laude Megan Elizabeth Roberts Cum Laude Poppy Elizabeth Bradford, magna cum laude, outstanding graduate. Gianna Maribel Sandola, magna cum laude. Kiana Thompson. Shailene Aiko Shay. <laughs> Chanel Puolani Bratlin. <laughs> Kainani Peters. Noelina Tayaso Blanton. Carly Michelle Yamada. Tyrone Catherine Lokelani Sangapolu. Leilani Yukiko Luca Louise Higashi. Angelou Talbo Bukat. Antoinette Labrador Kuwade.
Angelique, Maricel, Yi, Kim, Lee, Mara. Caitlin Miyuki Toba, cum laude. Brittany Kololia Maser, cum laude. Teya Kalehua Puakea, Kikue Almida. Madison Lynn Satsuki Philpot. Yonona Bankfer. Rachel Shulman. Angelo Roman Corpus Oase. Laura Melissa Marcelo Domagma. Rovian Paharilo Di Paisa. Jima Mendez. Vivi Kate Andres Kamit Cum Laude. Jennifer Bragado Bigonia. Julianne Bigonia Cum Laude. Skylin Balayas. Charles Christopher Birchy. Shelby Paiva. Sheldon Kahealani Paiva. Taylor and Naomi Mei Ling Kahealani Mahina Ali Funamoto. Bernadette Valdez Aquino. Malia Rose Monday, cum laude. Kevin Carl Bucat. Jerry Lynn May Sorotin, Magna Cum Laude. Nicole Faith Simana Pagdilao. Kayla Cardona Bailey Coco.
Alexis Ramones Mercado. Denise Camille Almendral Gabriel. And Marie Leon Guerrero Duenas, Magna Cum Laude. Lauren De Los Santos. Katrina May Evangelista. Kimi Lee May Go, Cum Laude. Mark Jester Tiu. Ashley Marie Omalza Baleski. Kimber Chiemi Iwohi. Monica Garcia. Keahilele Reyes. Cheyenne Riverall. Zane Kaimana Biscocho. Cum laude. Will the recipients of the degree Master of Business Administration please come forward? <laughs> President Babington, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you our school's candidates for the master's degree. Makana McClellan. Monica Kwan Malapit. Kea Laula Ikalani Gair, Summa Cum Laude. Christine Pillows, Summa Cum Laude. Siofanga Kaisa Luisala Kava. Crystal Ann Roberts. Anthony Brown.
Charles Mitchell Klausner. Hua Yang. David Yoshinobu Sakazaki. Jason Hyun Song. Will the recipients of the following degrees please come forward? Master of Arts in Teaching, Master of Education, Master of Science in Counseling Psychology, and Master of Science in Criminal Justice Studies. President Babington, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you our school's candidates for the master's degrees. Kiana Dizon. Mark Lester Suniga Salvador. Sydney Halcrow. Dane Rikiko Nishimura. John Vimal Salinton. Jerry Ann Kapohana Rosa Ching. Kayla Kiyomi Manibog Kaji. Geneva Sullivan Costales. Trent Thomas Keaka Fish. Morgan Crystal Ching. Roy Angelo Briones Mansoka. Patricia Machete Maya. Paula Lynette Hare McAnderson. Yeah. 
Sunny Christy McDonald. Lynette Vasson Almore. Kayla Jones. Bryn Sumiko Yorita. Lauren Johnson Iwasaki. Diane K. Kristen Marie Chow. Suan Denise Henkes Grinya. Rena Dabasol Pascal. Cheyenne Kalina Makishima. Madison Mitchell. Tomoko Hotema Michelle Preston Magna Cum Laude Malia Mokuahi Sasha Kiana Kuipo Perez Gorado Hannah Nicole Rumfield Brittany Shimabukuro Erica Le Cadiz Lindsay Kaupena Balilio Madison Young Alexis Anella Alapai Pasi Iafatia Michaela Yamamoto Marissa Don Pierre Fabian Andre Patterson Brittany Nicole Homelani Okuma Tawili Ili Carolyn Mwani Keala Okaava Puhi Aversalo. Charlene. Mm -hmm. 
Laura Hufano Kravitz. Clarissa Kalikolehua Torres. Corey Gleason. Kristen Kawionalani Pont. Angelica Marie Atud. Jadine Leiko Cabana. Alyssa Marie Canelli. Mariel Rodrigue. Regina Schaffner. Noemi Regine Julian. Brandy Wilson. Kamile Kealohale Lani Leopoldo. Genebeth Di Casa Senson. Jocelyn Suzanne Bertovich. Rene Kamalani Neves. Kayla Ariel Paulo. Risha Noribel Taguba. Nicole Gwyneth Betham Sangapolutele. Andre Dawson Keku Pono Riddle. Sean Kukuna Okala Sachio Suyoka. Daniel McNeely Jr. Tyra Ann Arakawa De La Cruz Bora Bora. Jennifer Pimentel, outstanding graduate. Melissa Manalo Nicholas. Veronica Flores. Karen Wright. Alex Parker, Magna Cum Laude. Corin Iwamasa.
Serena Kaylin Kalikoa e la kau ike kai aiwohi. Marcella Ruth Jacqueline Verste. Lyric Dillion. Elijah Kaolino Ikeolani Bernardo Flores. Brittany Lokelani Fitzgerald. Mitivai Joanne Yose. Jeffrey Anthony Ventura. Brendan Martin Smith, outstanding graduate. Christian Smith. Rebecca Lee Walser. Rhonda K. De Jesus. Ana Lopez Santos. Christy Mariko Tamashiro. Taylor Kalei Makanani Keiko Chi. Will the recipients of the degree Doctor in Psychology in Clinical Psychology please come forward. <laughs> President Babington, on behalf of the faculty, I present to you our school's candidates for the doctoral degree. Christian Elizabeth Kealani Brown, outstanding graduate. Her dissertation was entitled Emotional Infidelity in Emotionally Focused Couples Therapy. Lisa Casados. Her dissertation was entitled, Comparative Study Between the Zero to Three Court in Hawaii to the National Child Welfare Sample Exploring Cultural Differences, Outcome, and Time Spent in Foster Care. Misha Nicole Shannon Harris. 
Her dissertation was entitled Resilience in Response to Firsthand Post Traumatic Events a Qualitative Study. Helen Kahai. Her dissertation was entitled, A Parent's Experience Raising an Elite Baseball Player, a Qualitative Study. Daniel Thomas Kinikini. His dissertation was entitled, The Path for Success for Native Hawaiians, a Qualitative Study. Melanie Kushi. Her dissertation was entitled Differences in Exercise Motives Between Two Generational Groups, Generational X and Millennials. Uilani Schnackenberg. dissertation was entitled, Healing the Wounds Through Visions and Dreams. Stephanie Steele. Her dissertation was entitled, Fostering Families in Neonatal Intensive Care Units, an exploratory study of providers and family-centered care. Erin Chiemi Yokote. Her dissertation was entitled, Quality of Life Outcomes for Individuals with Rat Lungworm Disease. Chiemi Yokote! His dissertation was entitled Internet Gaming Study. Devin Yuen. We welcome back to the podium, Dr. Lance Askodson. We now ask all candidates for all degrees to please stand. President Babington, the faculty of Chaminade University of Honolulu attest that these candidates, upon certification of completion of all requirements for their degrees, are worthy of receiving them. In my own name and that of Chaminade University of Honolulu and by the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and the State of Hawaii, I confer on these candidates the degree for which they have been approved with all the rights and privileges appertaining thereto. Traditionally, the turning of the tassel from the right to the left side of the mortarboard symbolizes the student's transition from candidate to graduate. Chaminade University's graduating class of 2022, you may now turn your tassels.
Thank you, graduates. You may now be seated. We now welcome to the stage Andre Dawson Kekupono Riddle. Mahalo Kaipo. Aloha Ayahi Kako. Eho Oma Kayana Iko Papa 2022. Ame Iko Papa Fall 2021. Good evening, everyone. Congratulations, class of 2022 and fall of 2021. I know there's some graduates out there in the audience, myself included. Um, so congratulations to all of you. I also want to extend an aloha and congratulations to your family, friends, and special guests who have joined you tonight, either personally or virtually. For it is not only your hard work and perseverance, graduates, that got you through, but also the love and support of your loved ones. And it was all integral to making this night possible. What an accomplishment. My name is Pono Riddle, and I'm not only an academic advisor in the Office of Student Success, but I stand before you tonight a two-time Chaminade alum, class of 2018, and my master's in class of 2021. <laughs> Thank you. I also sit on the Alumni Council, and on behalf of the council, we proudly and warmly welcome you to the Global Chaminade Alumni Ohana. I really hope that you take this moment to heart and carry it with you for the rest of your lives and also know that Chaminade will always be home. So come and visit when you can. Lastly, special shout out to my mom and grandma in the audience. I love you. And to all the moms and grandmas and motherly figures, happy early Mother's Day. Go Swords! Guests, we ask that you remain in place until the entire academic procession has been completed. For our guests who are seated on the lawn, we ask kindly that you temporarily relocate to the sidewalk as our graduates will be meeting their guests in this area. At this time, we welcome to the podium our university chaplain, Father Martin Soloma, to give the benediction. This will be followed by the singing of Shamanad's alma mater. At the conclusion of our singing, we ask that you be seated and remain seated until all graduates have recessed. For safety purposes, we, requ we request that those needing assistance please remain in place until everyone has exited. We appreciate your cooperation and thank you for joining us. Please stand for the benediction and the alma mater. Let us pray. I want to remember tonight, especially Father Stephen Tudis, Father Tudis was the last living founder of Chaminade University. He died just before Easter in Cupertino, California. He also served 10 years as Superior General for the Society of Mary. He would have been very proud tonight. He is very proud tonight. And so we pray. Loving God of all creation, kind and merciful, we thank you for this evening as we have celebrated the lives and the achievements of these 2022 graduates of Shamanad University of Honolulu. We are grateful for them, for their families and friends, and for all those who have supported their journey to this happy event. We honor all of their professors and guides, administrators and support staff who have assisted them. We are immensely grateful for President Lynn Babington and her leadership team. May today bring each of these graduates satisfaction and a keen sense of having accomplished something wonderful. As they begin a new chapter of life, may they remember what they have learned here at Chaminade University, that each of us has a God-given vocation in life and a call to ethical leadership for the common good and for our common home. 
that excellence in learning requires a life of integrity and professionalism, that we live, learn, and serve best within a community of life and faith, that we are responsible for the world we live in, for peace, justice, and the care of our common home, that we are lifelong learners, adapting and changing with a view to the future. We ask your generous blessings upon these young men and women. May they look back with gratitude on their years at this Catholic and Marianist University, look forward with hope for a world and for their lives, and with confidence and trust, live fully in the present. May they be sustained by an abiding faith in you and in your merciful providence. May these Silver Sword graduates make a lasting mark in our world for the honor of their alma mater and the glory of God. Amen. Swords. <laughs> <laughs>